very good morning children welcome back to our second session in the previous session we were learning about microsoft publisher right we have started our first lesson and we have learned about it in that what all we have learned children we learned what is a microsoft publisher and how to select the built in template and also after selecting the built in template we have also learned how to edit it depending upon our requirement and how to insert the text box if extra required and we have made the birthday invitation in the previous class right and after that we have even saved the invitation whatever we have done that we have shared this is what we have learned in the previous class now today in this video in this session we are going to learn further few more options which will help you to make your publication very effective okay come on let us start first we have to open the publisher to work on it right so let us start the publisher first click on the start button to open the publisher again i told you as in the last class go to all programs and go to microsoft office 2016 in that select the publisher as we have done in the previous class okay now today i want to select the same publication whatever i have used in the morning session okay so recently opened publications will be available here only in the recent column if it is not available then you can go for blank and then you can open it right so now i will go for blank and then i will open and show you how to take the saved publication go to file and then go to open now here you can select the recent one if here also it is not available then you can go for browse option where you know where you have saved your file now i will open it from here students see this is what the publication we have done in the previous class now let us learn little more i will go to the second page and here i want to insert one text box okay so for that to insert a text box i already told you in the morning that in the home tab we have an option called draw text box when you select this you have to draw the text box now here you will see the cursor and you can type the text whatever you want for example i want to uh, say what we are going to do in the birthday party what all we are having in the birthday party okay so uh, those information i want to mention it here uh, first we will be having welcome drink and then we will be having dance okay now you can see that it became a red means the space whatever we have selected it is this much only right so now we have this much box only inside which we i want to fit whatever i am going to type for example this will be useful when we are creating a visiting card suppose we have more information at that time we this option will be useful you have to select the text box and you can see the moment we select the text box on the ribbon tabs format tab will be activated okay now i will select this text okay after selecting the text i will go to format tab and text group here you can see the first option text fit in this you select see we have a four options in this best fit shrink text on overflow grow text to fit and do not auto fit now do not auto fit is selected children suppose if you want the text to become big if more space is there then you have to select this suppose you want to be it you want the text to become small when more text is there then you have to select this best fit means depending upon the requirement it will only choose some settings and it will fit it okay now i will select shrink text to fit you can see it has made it very small the moment i enter again it will become more smaller 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 then cake 
cutting after that we will have dinner okay so this much is available in our birthday celebration now you can zoom and see by using this zoom slider in the status bar you can just do like this zoom slider and you can see right now i will go for this and you can see all the text whatever i have typed is visible here now i will select the text after selecting the text i can do the same changes what all i have told you in the previous class i can change the font style font size everything now when we go for font style and font size next to that you can see here alignment there are nine alignments in the text box okay so what are these nine alignments to understand this properly i will take the all text in one line comma i will put and i will take dance also in the top only again i will put the comma and i will grab this text also on the top in the same line okay see this is what the text we have now when the moment i move the text up you can see that little bit the letters have become big because it has selected that option is selected now you can see this is a text box and the text is starting from the top left corner right now i because that option is selected here now i want it to start from top center see the moment i have selected you can see the text on the screen has become top center now top right side now see the second one middle left side okay see why it became like this because after cake cutting the dinner has come to the next line because of that now you can see again the text size has changed depending upon the requirement right automatically the moment i am changing depending upon the text size the text size is also changing because i have chosen the option shrink text on overflow only because of that reason it is changing automatically depending upon the requirement now i will select this same thing and i will go for center and center means it will start from the center of the text and the text box also at the center then right center then bottom see you can see from the bottom of the text box it is fitting from the left side if you want from center side then you have to select this if you want this then you have to select this side usually we keep center center to make it look beautiful depending upon our requirement we are going to choose whatever the option we need not only this children even you can select the text and you might have seen in the uh, magazines and all the first letter of the sentence will be very big drop cap you can even choose the drop cap from the format tab you can see so many options are there of drop cap here whichever the thing you want you can select on that see depending upon the selection it will change w has become so big because i have selected the drop cap okay if you don't want this just click on undo again it will become the normal text okay now in the same format tab if you come the little bit this side you can see text fill here we have a color students see now black color automatically it is selected so black it is showing now i will click this dark blue see now the text has become blue so you can even change the text color from the font format tab okay now again i will select the text okay then text outline you can select any of the outline for the text now if you see it will become like this okay now i will select the same thing text effects are also there students see we have four different types of text effects shadow if you want the shadow for the text then here also you have so many option like bottom offset and then if you click this offset diagonal bottom right like this so many options are there whichever the thing you feel it is looking good you have to select that little slight changes you can notice okay these changes will be applied now in the same way we also have 
sorry you have to go for text format in the same way we also have reflection if you want the reflection of the text to be visible see if you select this here half down to the text shadow will come see you can notice in the text on the screen like the shadow is visible on the screen okay like this in the same way even we have text glow see you can select any glow suppose i want this color glow like this you can see the glow on the text surrounded you is visible so like the same way even we have the bevel option you select this and go for this and select a slight changes which will not be more visible like that it will become see slight slight changes will be visible on the text depending upon the requirement okay so any doubt children till here now in this session we learned how to insert a text box after inserting the text box type the text and then how to fit the text depending upon our requirement and how to align the text in different ways how to change the color how to give a outline to the text and also we learned the different text effects we have all those four text effects we have learned children i hope everything is clear okay so let us move for the next thing we can even insert a picture students we can insert a picture from our system or from the internet using the option called insert go to the insert tab and see pictures online pictures two options are there if you want to insert any picture which is present in your computer then you need to click on pictures the moment you click on pictures pictures gallery will get open here so many pictures which are saved in your computer will be available and you have to select which picture you want to insert now i want to insert this picture so just click on that and click on insert then you can see the picture is inserted in your publication now depending upon your size requirement you can enlarge or you can minimize the picture by dragging the handles see this much small you want just drag it and drop it you can even move this from one place to another place just by dragging it okay so depending upon your requirement you can resize and you can drag and you can place wherever it is required okay any doubt children till here i hope it is very clear and very easy because inserting a picture and formatting the text you people have learned in fourth and fifth also in microsoft word it is the same thing here extra options we what we are learning is how to fit the text within the text box it is shrinking or it is expanding depending upon the requirement that is the extra thing we have learned here children okay now all these things are done now you can see the white color page is available right background is white even you can change the background color now i will go to the first page you can see the background is white color how to change the background for that we have to go for page design tab where you have to go page design tab to change the background you should go to background option and here you can select which background you need whatever the background you select you can see that background is visible here again i will decrease the size to show you the complete publication so that it will be easily understood for you okay like this background it was actually white color now i have changed the color so whatever i have selected that is applicable now i will select this see like this whichever the background you require that background you can select and you can apply not only the background children now you can see each frame is having one one color these color schemes are also available here whichever the color scheme you select see you can see depending upon the color scheme the frames are changing automatically okay here you can select so many color schemes are available pre defined schemes 
where many are available whichever you feel it is looking nice those frames or those schemes you can select for the frames if you are not liking then you can select the particular frame and here also you can change okay any doubt students still here i hope everything is clear if any doubts are there again what i told you in the previous class you can text your class teacher so that we will get back to you hope you all have understood and who all are having a system please practice it so that you will become a perfect in this you will learn more options okay now again you want to save you can save just click on this and click on save you can see now it is not asking me to give any file name as i have already saved this file by my birthday invitation name so the same invitation is getting updated with different changes what all i have made here